So this video is on how to use focal muscle vibration as a therapeutic tool. I wrote an article on it that summarized the research over the last 15 years. Um, basically, focal muscle vibration was developed in the 60s. They showed that if you oscillate a muscle at 60 cycles per second with a 0.5 millimeter displacement, it temporarily inhibited activity of muscle spindles. Muscle spindles, and I'll put a picture of it up there now, muscle spindles are length regulators. They sit inside muscles between muscle fibers, and when stretched, they tell your nerve, central nervous system the speed that the muscle was stretched, and then it produces an immediate contraction. So the classic example is just a deep tendon reflex like that. When you tap that reflex, what we, I just did there was I stretched the spindles in her quad. That sent a reaction into her cord, which is interesting. In addition to causing a monosynaptic reflex loop where it caused the quad contract, at the same time it sent a signal to inhibit the hamstring. It also sent signals to the cortex and to the cerebellum where that was analyzed. So muscle spindles are basically the brains of our muscles. They tell you where you are in space, they tell you your velocity, and they can be manipulated, which is good because after an injury, muscle spindles can get stuck in areas of adhesions inside muscles and they can give in too much information. Then the muscle has impaired coordination, it has impaired force output. So recently some researchers have started to say if we could temporarily suppress the spindle, we could rewire the muscle to get over chronic pain. So a series and improve, more importantly, improve force output and athletic performance. So a series of research papers came out and I'll put them all up because they really are fascinating. Some of the results are almost too good to believe. They showed that if you put a, a muscle that oscillated at a very specific frequency on a muscle and then contracted the muscle, the depth of the p vibration uh, increased so you could block activity from more of the spindles in the muscle, almost the entire muscle. And if you did that long enough, you could improve performance. And I'm gonna put up a bunch of stats that shows, you know, 50% increase in jump height, increased rate of force development with a protocol that was simple. You just put the focal muscle vibration device and I just turn it on now, this thing is vibrating. It's very light vibration, you barely feel it. To do it, for example, say this uh, person had a problem where she had an ankle injury and she had impaired force output because her peroneals weren't working right after a sprain. All you would do is you would take that motor, you would wrap it on the muscle you want to target. So in this case, peroneus longus. Peroneus longus was shown to be inhibited in people with ankle sprains and it altered proprioception, did less in output. So right in through here, if you can come in and zoom in, Right there is the belly of peroneus longus, and I'll put an image of it so you know how it looks. There's a little strap that I come around. I just apply this to that muscle. Not too much pressure, easy force, just like that. And you can do this yourself. You wrap that on, and now the battery pack has a piece of Velcro on the back. In each of the studies that have gone up, and again, I'll put the stats up for you, they isometrically contracted the muscle for 10 minutes. So, Carrie, you're going to take this, you're going to wrap it around your forefoot, and I'll show you how to target different muscles. To target peroneus longus you, with light pressure, and one researcher said the amount of pressure that you use didn't matter that much it, it, because it's, it's just the contraction stiffens the muscle, increases the depth of the vibration penetration. And because you're doing it for a full 10 minutes, it can't be more than three or four percent full effort. It's got to be a light contraction. So do you think you can hold that for 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. If you can't, you just ease off. All that matters is that the muscle's contracted. Now there's an on-off button on this. You just turn that on. You feel that light vibration? Yeah. Then I just put it there just for safekeeping. Now you're going to be in this position for 10 minutes. You are going to rest for a minute after that, and you're going to repeat that where you do 10 minutes times three. And in one study that came out in 2009 from Italy, they took 60 older women, applied it to their quads, which I'll show you how to do in a little while, just for three days with this protocol that's a half hour long. After this routine, they had significant improvements in balance, 20% reductions in center of pressure movement, 55% improvements in jump height, which is amazing, and 35% improvements in leg power. Even more surprising, the center pressure recordings continue to improve with 25% improvement at 30 days and 35% improvement at 90 days. 
Leg power increased 40% at 30 days and 50% at 90 days. And more amazingly, vertical jump height continued to increase by as much as 90% at the end of the study. Incredibly easy to do, and that's the entire protocol. You do it three days, and then in the research, they didn't do it again. I've been using this now in practice for a little while, and what we've noticed is that after the first week, you do it three days. Then you do it once a week um, for three or four consecutive weeks. And one of the things that the researchers don't talk about is that this is great. It alters activity from the spindle, resets the muscle so it's not firing inappropriately, but it's not going to rebuild the tendons. The increase in jump height and force production is because of improved reflex reactions. You change the activity to the antagonist, you've improved spinal cerebellar activity, but you haven't made tendons strong. So what I always emphasize to people, in spite of what the research says, you've got to do your rehab after you do this. You, you get noticeable improvements in rate of force development, sprint performance, jump height, but you then have to rehab the tendons. And this protocol can be done to any muscle, and the next one we'll do will be how to do it on the quads. So before we showed how to use the focal muscle vibration for ankle sprains and improving force output, which we did the peroneals. If you wanted to increase force output with jumping, you could put it on the soleus muscle, for example, and do the same thing. But most of the research, they stimulated quads bilaterally to get increases in rate of force production, decreased fatigue, increased jump height. Really simple to do. All you do is take the dual motor system, which has a split so you can just use uh, one battery. It just makes it easier. And if you could hold that for me right there, I just apply it just above the quadricep tendon right where vastus medialis joins lateralis, the rectus femoris is right in through here. While that's there, you just take the Velcro strip, place it over, thank you, and then we get this out of the way. Just wrap it on. Again, you can do this yourself, but it goes on really easy. Do the second one. You want to throw that one off for me? Second one goes, again, just an inch or two above the patella, just like that, and strap it on. And when you do this, again, we've got the splitter, you've got the battery pack, you've got options. You can put an ankle weight here and, and have the person extend and hold it. Again, these are 10 minute holds. In this situation, I've tied a TheraBand to the bottom of a table, put it around the ankles, and again, now straighten. Mild contraction, you think you can hold that for 10 minutes? Yeah. If you can hold that for 10 minutes, you hit the on thing, we are good to go. 10 minutes like this and then a, a minute long rest and you repeat it three times. And again, I'll put the stats up on it. It's almost too good to believe. When I first, I've been using these motors as a diagnostic tool for the last four years because they're, I'll review it later. If you put it on someone's soleus while they're standing and have them close their eyes, it shuts the spindle off. If they lean backwards, they are um, four times more likely to have a back injury in the next two years because it shows they have poor core proprioception. Those, I used them in the past on muscles to decrease tone, but when I read the research showing that if the muscle was isometrically contracted, the vibration penetrated deeper, I thought that's really clever. I started doing it and had all the doctors, all the chiropractors, physical therapists, and rehab specialists I know do it, and I've been getting really good feedback from it. It's surprising, and the nice thing about it is it's safe, um, doesn't interact with anything, and it's great with someone with chronic pain. And there is, th it's probably the easiest way, short of taking steroids, to improve sports performance. And it just takes 10 minutes, three times, three days, repeat every week, and I'll do that for four weeks. And again, do all of your rehab. And uh, you can also do this on uh, extensor carpi radialis brevis and for shoulder injuries.